Elf Meter Witz beim Spiel um den Oberligaaufstieg in Südtirol. Beim Stand von 4 zu 4 tritt Michael Palmer vom ASV Tramin an und setzt den Ball gegen die Latte. Loris Angeli ist außer sich vor Glück. Der Torwart von Dro Calcio stürmt aus seinem Kasten. Palmer hingegen kann es nicht fassen. Beide bemerken allerdings nicht, dass der Ball noch im Spiel ist und ganz langsam und allmählich doch noch den Weg ins Tor findet. Die Schiedsrichter gegen den Treffer. Take my word for it, there's a moral to this story. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a coronation for Tanje Pepio. He's getting the crowd, he wants the crowd to cheer his performance, and at the end he gets pipped. He gets pipped by Marin Simon of Washington. And you just can't do this kind of stuff, Lewis. You can't. Doesn't take the biggest shot, there's an overhand right. He's gone down, he's there with the right hand. And I don't know if he can recover from this. Meanwhile, look at Ty on the other side. The eighth remains second and third overall after the fifth stage of the Giro d'Italia. But the stage was rather embarrassing for Slovenian cyclist Luca Pebenik. He was leading as it entered Messina in Sicily. Unfortunately for him, though, he celebrated his win a lap too early. So if you listen very carefully, you can hear the bell ringing to say you've got another lap of the course to go. Uh, and the rest of the peloton catch him up and overtake him. And eventually, poor old Luca finishes 148. And the worst thing for him is because it's a zero, they, they cycle consecutive days. He's got to go out and do it all again today. He won't be making that mistake again, though, will he? <laughs> Hey,
on her wages. Says he's ready. Here it comes. Wages dives, turns it away. Hunter Wages. Now it comes down. One shot to for the one title. kick for the championship. And it rests on the shoulders of the team captain, Madison Gossett. Yeah, now think... Jacob Parton. All the pressure in the world on the keeper's shoulders right now for Lexington. Here it comes. It went in and Irmo wins. Oh my goodness. It just slipped over. Jacob Parton got a hand on it, Emerson Phillips, but yeah, I... it just ricocheted right over the line. And the senior, Madison Gossett, Wow, gives... hey, that ball had backspin on it, Birch, after Parton had de deflected it, and the backspin carried it over the goal line and into the goal for the state championship winning goal for Irmo High School. Phil Never Savitz seen... gets it on his final hurrah as the head coach of the Irmo Yellow Jackets. He goes away with a state championship off of the final penalty kick from the senior captain, Madison Gossett, that just got past Jacob Parton. And C'est l'artiste Maul qui a toujours 3 à 4 langues à l'avance sur Octava Pulse. Alors que Kaline de Serbe est en troisième position. Le numéro 1, c'est l'artiste Maul. Quentin Samaria qui se détache très nettement pour finir. C'est l'artiste Maul dans le numéro 1 qui va s'imposer nettement. La deuxième place, oh, avec une chute. Chute du numéro 1, c'est l'artiste Maul. Son partenaire qui s'est déconcentré juste avant le passage du poteau. Et une victoire qui va certainement revenir finalement au numéro 3 de Octava Pulse. Total coup de théâtre à l'arrivée de cette euh, compétition avec euh, le partenaire de cet artiste Mould euh, qui euh, manifestait sa joie au passage du poteau et qui euh, malheureusement eh bien, euh, est tombé. Pass Joe Chi over to Lowry in the corner. Three won't fall. And nice little assist there. He did. But Kyle has to knock down a shot. He was <laughs> a little different. A little Steph Curry.